Let's use the sum if function to find the total sales for each of these categories in this sales data set. And only for easy steps, let's go. This is how you write the sum if function, equal sum if range, and then the criterion and the sum range and parenthesis. So this is the syntax of the sum if function. The first range is a uh, collection of cells. It's just a range, but it's actually the range that the criterion is evaluated against. And that means it should basically be called the criteria range instead of the range. That's stupid, but let's just call it the criterion range from now on. And this range over here is the range that holds the values you will need to add together to get the total sales in this case. And the criterion in the middle determines what you're actually looking for. Don't worry, it'll make much more sense over here in Excel. So here we have the sales data and we need to add the numbers together, the values, the prices together from the bath categories and the living room category and the bedroom category. Let's do that over here. And the first step is to write equal and then the name of the function. And that is sum if and an open parenthesis. Here you can see the actual syntax. And the first thing we need to do next is to write the criteria range. And that is step number two. So the criteria range is the range that holds the values that we will evaluate with the criterion. So in this case, it's the category column because we need to find something in the specific category. That means the criteria range should be all the categories where we are looking for the specific category. Okay, so comma to separate the arguments and the criterion, or in this case, as Excel writes it, criteria. The criterion is that it should be equal to the bath category. You don't need to do any shenanigans here. You can just write like this. If you had other uh, things you needed to do, you need to write it differently. And I'll show you that later on in this video, uh, like greater than, smaller than, etc. So stay tuned for that. That's really important. But in this case, it's pretty easy. Uh, this just means it's equal to the bathroom or bath category. The next step is step number four, the sum range. And that is the column the whole, that holds the values we need to add together. And that is column D like this. So when I hit enter here, all the um, cells in column D will be added together if the corresponding value in column C is equal to bath, the text bath. And let's do that, hit enter, and there we have it. The bathroom category makes up $15,000 of these sales here in the column, uh, in the price column, column D. And we can just copy this to the other cells to make this neat little report that instantly shows us the sales divided by each category. That was the easy part. And now it gets a little bit more complicated. And before I get to that, if you liked my explanation so far, please hit the subscribe button below to show your support. Thanks. Okay, so here we need to find something else. Now, before it was just finding something that was equal to the bath category, equal to something. But now we need to find something that is greater than or smaller than or uh, other iterations of that. So here we need to uh, sum up the prices that are individually greater than a thousand. And let's do that with this function right here. Write sum if open parenthesis. And in, in those instances where we don't actually look at any of the other columns, we, uh, the, the criteria range is actually the same as the sum range here. Then we don't need to write the sum range. That becomes uh, an invalid part of the, of the syntax. So we can just reference the sum range, which is also the criteria range here, and then write the criteria and that's it. But the way you write this criteria is a little bit, uh, some would say weird, because uh, you write it like this. So you need to write the greater than sign and you need to write that in double quotes because it's text technically. And then an ampersand symbol to join that with a reference. And the reference is to column um, G, which is to G2 over here, which holds the value 1000, close parenthesis. And this is how you write it. And that means that there are uh, orders for the total value of 
uh, $27,000 uh, when you only count the individual orders that are more than $1,000. Let's change that up a bit to see how it works like this. And you can see that it actually is working. Now let's do the same down here. Sum if open parenthesis and the criteria range, which is the same as the sum range again. And that is the price column. The criteria is remember the double quotes less than or equal to. And that's how you write that double quotes and percent. And then a reference to G3 that holds the value here. Close parenthesis. And that's how you do that. This counts the um, or not counts. It, it, it totals. It sums up the uh, aggregate sales, but only for the orders that are less than 500 or equal to 500. Let's change that up and see if this makes a difference. And it does. OK, cool. Now, why? Why is this so complicated? That's because I'm using a reference. It could be easier. Let's say this instead. Let's just make the same example here. But if we don't want to use a reference, we can do this instead. Some if um, here and the criteria is instead then uh, less than or equal to 500 like this. You can write it like this if you want, and that gives the same. But then it's not dynamic. If, if, if you want to include a reference, you need to use that ampersand symbol like this over here. All right. Some if actually has a bigger brother called some ifs. And if you want to learn more about that, which I really think you should, you need to check out this video up here. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.